Hi friends, I am Dharmala Shri. This year I secured Alanda rank 409 and I am from Belur Karadipati village in uh, Salem district and uh, I studied my schoolings in uh, Tahrata Matriculation School and uh, Sharada Matriculation School in uh, Salem district and uh, I completed my B.Tech Fashion Technology in Sona College of Technology and I had a work experience two years in uh, Madhra Kloti. Then I started my preparation from 2014 and uh, this year I got Alanda rank 409. Uh, my optional is history and I chose history because uh, I had a liking from schooling and then uh, I had an another chance to study history after breakup because after 10th I couldn't study history so after some 6-7 years gap I, I got an opportunity to study history and the next reason is uh, uh, I got a guide here so Sadiq sir is the biggest resource for my history optional because uh, whatever the optional you are choosing we need a right mentor so uh, in that case I am lucky and the next one and uh, uh, when we are uh, consulting with our seniors, uh, I got to know that okay, this this can be a part which which is useful and uh, right from prelims, mains, and interview. So uh, it is an uh, easier option, and uh, it has its own value. So uh, I chose history on that basis. Uh, we all know that history is one of the mark fetching subject, and uh, it doesn't require any um, theories or any other principles and formulas. So it is easy for me to take history because. You need not to have any special skills to crack history. It has its own flow. The advantage of history uh, I secured uh, in my last mains, I, uh, in GS1, main, mainly in GS1, I got all in the second highest mark. Uh, because of history optional, I secured that mark. And uh, in my history optional as well, I got uh, one of the top marks in my paper too. So this is the edge we have uh, as a uh, history option student. Uh, with respect to materials, my, I don't have uh, any broad list uh, for preparation the one uh, thing i followed whatever sir told the first thing was sir told to read the class notes so i i used to attend the classes regularly it is a very simple process so i i attended the classes regularly and the second one i used to follow the class notes the notes which i used to write in my own and the second thing uh, sir told us to read ncrt first before reading any other author books so i prefer to read ncrt after reading NCERT, I started revising the NCERT, especially the modern India or ancient India. I used to revise the NCERT so that I used to get some some questions. So the, some analysis will be there in modern India, ancient India, medieval India. So I used to see the analysis and again I started writing the answers. So this is the main uh, part of my preparation area. Uh, with respect to ancient India, particularly for MAP, last term uh, I didn't score uh, well in MAP mainly because uh, I got uh, tensed when I couldn't know the when I don't know the some uh, four to five locations in map. So it made it uh, pulled down my confidence and it reflected in my paper one. And so what happened? I started reading the map work based on the previous year questions which uh, sir used to do refer always. So that map work I uh, took it very seriously and I started focusing on that. And next thing with respect to ancient India, uh, what I told you earlier the same uh, class notes and the NCRT books. So uh, while revising this, so I am able to write the answers. So the same way, Medieval India, NCRT, uh, simply NCRTs and uh, the class notes. But I used to do a lot of revision based on my, my own uh, notes and uh, my answers as under repeated uh, NCRT reading. And with respect to modern India, I studied the uh, old NCRT modern India and Sir notes. And uh, to an extent, I referred uh, Vipin Chandra, India, um, India struggle for independence I refer and um, with respect to world history I refer Norman Louis for a very few chapters but I refer uh, the Sir's world history book it was a very small book so I referred that book and mainly because it, it covered the syllabus so we got two things so it is very small and it is it covers the syllabus so I read that uh, world history book alone and I read it twice or thrice uh, even before uh, appearing the exams and um, only with this book, with these two books, I secured one of the high marks in GS and as well as in uh, paper 2 last time. So it is not very tough or it, it doesn't require any extra material to get high marks in paper 2. So it is very simple and it is very easy to uh, crack in the history optional. Uh, with respect to uh, writing tests, test is one of the most important part because we used to read a lot. We used to uh, know the things better but if you are not able to produce in paper it is it is of no use so uh, test uh, i started writing uh, right from the beginning even uh, while attending classes sir used to conduct some class tests so from the time i used i started writing the first mistake i noted is i couldn't complete it on time so i have taken more than three hours to complete the five questions in uh, in this value civilization itself 
the second um, thing uh, sir noted is my handwriting so uh, sir has his own way to change the handwriting so i changed the handwriting uh, which is legible to the people and uh, third one with respect to my answer writing so i started completing the knowing questions only the known questions so then i shifted to managing the unknown questions which is uh, very essential with respect to completing the paper which will give one or two marks the one or two marks will put us in service or out service so that way i improved and, and then it was mainly uh, done after the test series because sir used to discuss the questions so in that way i learned how to manage the unknown questions and the fourth one with respect to innovations i used to uh, get the paper corrections done with the sir and i used to get the feedback and there i used to get the uh, innovations ideas and how to present the paper the main uh, issue i faced with my friends and uh, even with me in initially i used to pour points whichever points i know i used to pour and i used to elaborate the same aspect uh, to an extent so uh, sir told us to uh, limit the aspect i mean sir told us to limit the points with the same aspect and then we started focusing on the other aspects for the same answer then the next improvement over the paper is with respect to arranging the aspects so my my answer is getting organized and the third one how to put the maps for uh, answer so i used to draw maps or in some innovations in the in in which part of the paper so the next one how i used to uh, make the paper more presentable way and then uh, the layout how i started the first question how i ended the last question how i managed all these questions so in that way my paper got improved over a period of time because it is mainly done because i used to go go and sit with sir and uh, started the feedbacks i will not allow them uh, allow him because i used to torture him a lot even uh, during the his lunch break or uh, any other time so in that time i used to get corrected and then uh, the feedbacks actually helped me so i went with a small or uh, marginal improvement then sir suggested suggest me some other improvements it was a very gradual and step by step process in my uh, paper presentation and improvement so in that way it was my paper was improved and one more thing is uh, sir the discussion was highly important even if i am not able to attend or one or two test even if i missed i will not miss the uh, discussions after the test so it helped me a lot already i told the my perspectives about the question and the question that has perspective about the question will vary so i need to align that area so it was it corrected me so it it give me some balanced uh, perspective about the questions and uh, how i need to manage the uh, overall part of the paper with respect to prelims uh, studying history is more important because the weightage of history every year it is getting increased day by day so almost 15 to 20 question is standard from the history itself uh, the standard patterns of buddhism jainism and the culture part and modern india specifically so the questions are uh, very regular and normal so without skipping history we cannot uh, crack prelims it is a fact actually so we need to f- give enough time to study history so in that way history helped me to crack prelims uh, not once but many times and then with respect to mainly mainly gs1 it is completely full of uh, history dominated paper or uh, whether it is modern india or culture part or or whether it is um, world history so uh, by giving weightage to history you can crack it is easy to get more than 100 or in gs1 and with respect to ethics paper due to the indian ethics i mean indian ethics paper there are some questions like uh, values of indian indian culture or indian society based on our knowledge with in history we can be able to answer in in our own way so it gives some edge in the ethics paper also with respect to interview we know the roots of the questions so we know the roots of the issue so whether it is uh, the reason current issue which is burning in india whether it is burning in the world we know the roots of uh, that issue where it started so by knowing the root it uh, gives us more confidence and uh, we can be more uh, assertive about our answers so it will gives us more confidence and it will give more clarity about about the issues what we are speaking so in that way it helped in my interview preparation as well my uh, suggestion to aspirants is please uh, restrict your material be specific in uh, what you are reading so now there are so many distraction about the uh, reference books which books to refer and there are so many uh, uh, distractions and uh, so much of information about notes uh, and guides and which one to refer as lot and we'll have uh, uploads on online and offline i suggest please for uh, restrict your materials uh, first one is your class notes and the second one is the ncert and uh, the main uh, area we need to focus is to read regularly and once you read we need to revise it and then writing the test 
getting evaluated and the feedback so in only this way we can improve our marks i am telling this because i i did only these things and i got the uh, highest marks in optional as well as gs so it is not like that you need to refer a lot to crack history optional i had very hand, uh, hand handful of books and notes with that i am able to secure one of highest marks in history it is possible for you too so be specific and uh, get the high marks in history i need to thank everyone in the smart leaders team uh, because it is like my extended family in anandagar as i told previously whether it is uh, sir sadik sir sadik sir role is in uh, my preparation is, is a large one and uh, i need to thank shivraj sir uh, his role is also uh, equally important uh, like sadik sir and then and uh, suresh sir and uh, the content team and uh, administrative team and sendal anas team and uh, especially my online team so i need to thank all uh, because whenever i have any doubts whenever i knock them so they respond me and they help me a lot they didn't hesitate anything so in that way uh, the doors were open to me uh, whenever i i need and uh, i need to thank all in the smartly dusting thank you